Alright, so here is a really quick overview of what's new in the latest FinStack 4.5 Early Access Update. Although there are many new features and improvements that have been made, I'm just going to go over the major changes that you'll notice after updating from 4.0 to 4.5. Okay, so the first and biggest thing we've changed is how you navigate throughout FinStack. Previously, you would have your navigation, your app menu, and your mini app all in one menu there on the right. What we've done now is we've separated all three of these into their own separate sections. The navigation menu is now a navigation header which can be found on the top of your browser page. Users can now click on the navigation arrows to move up and down the database hierarchy. As you navigate throughout FinStack, you will notice that the context instantly updates the mini app within the sidebar to your right. So whatever app is open will consistently show the data for that app based on where you are at in the navigation. To open a list of available apps, simply click on the menu icon found on the top left corner of the navigation header. This will open up what we call the app launcher. On the top right corner of the app launcher section, you will see the user that you are currently logged into, and right next to that, you'll find an option to log out. The rest of the app launcher provides the current user with a list of apps that they have been given access to. Click on any app to launch it as a mini app within the sidebar. The mini app will always retain your current context, so as you navigate back and forth, your current app will always update and show the correct data. On the top right of the navigation header, you will find the sidebar toggle icon that allows you to hide and show the sidebar. Next to that, if you have a custom header enabled, you will see another icon which allows the user to toggle between the navigation header and the custom header. Huge improvements have been done to the custom header, but one thing we'd like to point out is that since context is so very important in FinStack, we've added a section on the top right corner of the custom header that will always indicate what context you are on. Another major change that has to do with the custom header is that we've now redesigned the custom header configuration menu to be a mini app that will appear on the sidebar. This should make creating your custom headers a lot easier and a lot quicker than ever before. Okay, so another thing worth noting is that as you navigate using the navigation arrows, you'll notice that we've included alarm and override badges that, that indicate how many alarms and overrides are active within or under that section. Not only can you view that information at a glance, but you can now also click on the badges to automatically launch the mini app for that particular context. And while we're on the subject, you may notice that we've added a brand new app called the Overrides app. And as you can see, when we click on an override badge, the new Overrides app appears in the sidebar, allowing users to now quickly view and auto out anything that is overridden on that context. The Overrides app can also be found in the App Launcher menu. Okay, so that covers the more obvious changes that you'll notice when you go from 4.0 to the new 4.5 Early Access Update. There are a huge amount of improvements and new features that are not covered in this video, so please be sure to visit our 4.5 Update Notes page that can be found in our docs at docs.finproducts.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.